Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely alerts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, Destiny is starting off our week with our second cup of, well, quite frankly, lukewarm tea. Destiny's videos seem more autobiographical with snippets of amber than the tea that we're all so thirsty for. But in light of the very long video that Destiny gave us, I've edited it down and included some clips from Amber's videos at the same time. Let's dive in and have a look-see. And this is also when we decided to move to Kentucky with my mom. Now, I know there was a couple of things with that, with why we moved to Kentucky. Uh, essentially, it boiled down to, I just wanted to be there. The reason why we moved to Kentucky, I said it's because Destiny wanted to be there for her mom. I said we wanted to take care of her. I think I might have said that in a vlog. I don't know why, but it's not the truth. How do I word this without like saying too much, but you know, get my drift. We, her mainly, she just felt kind of like it was time to move on from Florida. You know, some things were happening that she just wasn't happy about and she wanted a new beginning, but I just felt like it was easier for me to say, you know, oh, we just want to be there for her mom. Um, my mom did have some health issues going on. I want to say it was, she had a hernia. God, don't get me started on a hernia. <laughs> and it turns out I do have a hernia, folks. And, um, but yeah, she, I think she had a hernia and she was getting it fixed. And also in April, I don't know if I already said we were in April. That was when we announced that we were gonna move to Kentucky and where we would be staying. And that's also when we started hanging out with Libby a lot more. Oh, if you guys want to know, this is my roommate's sister and she loves us more. <laughs> I'm joking. I love me more than my sister. So right now, Libby and Destiny are just playing Minecraft it. and I'm over here like yeah. a loser by myself. Uh, also, at this point, Amberlynn only had 2,000 subscribers, so that tells you where she was at at this point of the year. I think I wrote down a couple of more of these, like as she's announcing how much, how many followers she has. This is also around the time uh, our boss got a letter from a subscriber about us vlog or about us, but about Amberlynn vlogging at work. Um, she really did laugh. She thought it was hilarious. She didn't know that we had been doing YouTube or that Amber Lynn had been doing it. Um, and it, she, it cracked her up. She just said pe sometimes people have nothing better to do with their life and probably just wanted to see the reaction out of it. My grandpa had a stroke around this time of the year. Okay, so going to drop off Libby because my sister just called me right as we were getting into Target that my grandpa just had a stroke. He can play like a big... He hasn't been doing like, good. Yeah, he, he hasn't been... Surgery he did just have surgery. Um, because I remember when my grandma had a stroke, this was years and years ago, and she was in the newspaper, newspaper because she was like the magical stroke lady. Like Amberlynn had talked about her younger brother, about when she saved him, when he was getting choked. That really did happen. I don't know if there was like a conspiracy on that, but that did happen. I actually saved my baby brother. He was completely purple, couldn't breathe, and I saved his life. And then the bra scandal. I don't think she even has these bras anymore, but the bras that you guys would always give her crap for for wearing, she only had two of them. I don't remember how many she said she had. I have wore the same multiple bras they all look exactly the same they're the white with the polka dots they're all the same size and i have more than one i've showed them in a video before but she had two of the same exact bra because it was the only one that 
she liked and it fit her, whatever it was. She had them for a long time. Amberlynn really did go to college when she lived in Arizona. I'm not going to get too much into detail with it, but um, she did have student loans. When she started working with me about two or three months after she started working, they started to garnish her wages for it. So she ended up calling them and setting up a payment plan with them. With how much loans I do have currently, I'm going to have to pay some back before I even think about going to college again. Be um, this is when she talks about living in Oklahoma. She did live with her aunt at first and her mom, and then they moved in with her grandma, her and her mom did. She went to visit the person she was with at the time in Arizona. She was only supposed to be there a month, ended up living there because her grandma said she couldn't come back. Um, like I said, I'm not going to try and get into that that much. I don't know that much on that kind of stuff you know like the whole scandal with the person that lived in arizona and her i don't know i only know what she told you guys because that's what she told me the second week i was in arizona i got a call from my mom saying that my grandma does not want me living there and that i can't go back and they're not sending me my stuff and my whole world crashed i think this is when amber lynn had talked about i think someone asked her about who she would want to propose like if she wanted to or if I wanted to and she was saying hopefully I would want to I never proposed to her because we literally fought so much and I wasn't sure if we would ever truly be happy together like because there was just so much fighting and tension um some of you were like some of you knew some of you knew that we broke up um and a lot of you were saying that I was doing this for attention. This is not attention. No, it's not. Um, this is one of the most painful things I've had to go through because Destiny is my everything and she is the most incredible person in the world. I just feel like I wish I can turn back time and just fix everything. There's something going on internal with Destiny and it's just not it's not up to me to share that with anybody that's not my that's not my doing that's not more than anything i want you guys to know that i'm still gonna make youtube videos i'm still gonna come with a youtube video tomorrow um we have good times but the bad times were starting to outweigh the good times uh this is also around the time we started having some drama with her aunt her aunt essentially just became very upset with her and blocked her on everything because she was never sticking to any diets and she was constantly basically self-destructing herself. You know, she was constantly, and I mean, she's still obviously dealing with that now. So, so I messaged my aunt and I was like, um, I see that you're reading these and you're liking all her, all her, uh, things that she's saying, but I don't see you liking mine. And my aunt's reply was, um... I noticed you were being confrontational and she's a trainer so she knows what she's talking about and I was like whoa auntie legit I wasn't being confrontational I was just telling her that I do not have to be fit to love myself when I sent my aunt the message back about how um, I'm not gonna have a subs uh, substrainer what the hell is that <laughs> when I sent my aunt the message back saying I'm not gonna have a trainer telling me when I should love myself and that I can only love myself and be proud of myself and feel good about myself as if I'm fit that's not okay but she didn't reply to me um, all she said was ugh and ugh to my aunt means oh my god this drama queen and you know what okay I might be coming off a little dramatic right now, but now my aunt is posting really mean things um, on her page, like quotes about selfish people, and I'm the farthest from selfish. Um, I gave my whole childhood away to um, pretty much be a mother to my own brothers, and um, I feel like if I was a selfish person, then I would have loved myself enough to not become morbidly obese. I don't know how her and her aunt's relationship is now, but it is what it is. 
This is also when she started making her soup chili. Everything in a pot goulash stuff. I did not ever really try these. They were, that was gross. Haters, keep in mind, everyone is different. Everyone likes different foods. And I like to come up with concoctions, okay? Non-stick, even though this is already non-stick, but you know. Hi, baby. You got the cutting board on onion -y? Yeah. Did you need the cutting board? For my potatoes. Oh, yeah, you can just clean it off. Where's I need the peeler before I do anything. Oh, it's in here somewhere, girl. Uh, I'm going to use this. And then another thing with being at my mom's, my mom had a... It wasn't a clawfoot bathtub, but she had, it wasn't like a normal bathtub. I don't know how it's explained. You see it in the videos a lot. Um, Amber Lynn did not shower the whole time we were at my mom's. She did not like the bathtub. She refused to even try to get in. I think she, she was having a hard time getting her leg over it. It was the thing because it, it was pretty high sides. And she just basically, you know, or bathed <laughs> she just you know she washed her hair I like I'd help her wash her hair over the shower um and she just kind of washed with washcloths and wore plenty of deodorant that's that's what she did I think a lot of this has to do with the fact like I shower every day but I just don't wash my hair every day like I'd be showering with my freaking arm outside of the shower like texting her like it was it was almost obsessive, like. I just got out of the shower and I just filmed a video all about my hair. People ask if showering is hard. Yes. I'm gonna take a shower. I'll see you guys in literally a second because that's how YouTube works. So, bye. I haven't showered yet. I'm not taking care of myself. I need to go shower, okay? Like, I've been awake for six hours and I haven't showered yet. I always shower like the minute I wake up. Like, what's life right now? Um, at one point she talks about how she's not going to ride the scooters anymore, that she needs to stop, even though she was complaining about her foot hurting. She was just too embarrassed to ride them in front of my family. Why do I ride a scooter in Walmart and why do I sit in the car when Destiny goes in the store a lot? It's because I can't breathe. <laughs> no. Um, this is also around the time my mom and Amber Lynn start getting into a lot of spats about stuff. Um, they just, they started arguing quite a bit. Amberlynn's just, she's very set in her way or no way kind of deal. Um, I don't know. That's just, she, and she doesn't care, like, if she disrespects you, basically. Like, she really just does not care. I don't know, if it had been the other way around, I was not going to try to argue with her mom, you know, like, it was like a respecting your elders kind of thing. Even though you're not a child, you should still respect your elders. We took my mom to the Cheesecake Factory, we were all excited about the cheesecake. That was when the Cheesecake Factory obsession began, you know, like, we were just going so much. And we're going to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm super excited because it's like my favorite restaurant ever and I haven't been there for like two years. And Destiny and her mom has never been there before, so their first time so I'm taking their virginity okay that was awkward the Cheesecake Factory is bae my favorite place to eat out Cheesecake Factory or a Mexican restaurant or a Chinese buffet what how far away is the Cheesecake Factory? an hour well probably about 45 minutes there you go uh, because you guys know I went out to eat all the time in Florida and I'm not doing that here. We are going to go to the Cheesecake Factory though because I haven't been there in forever and oh my god they have it like kind of close near here. And then another thing, I don't know if I've already said this, maybe it was in the previous video. I never watched her videos. I didn't think to go back and watch her stuff so some of the stuff that she would lie about that you guys, that she admitted to, whatever, that I'm letting out. Um, I didn't know that was going on. I didn't know what she was telling you guys. It's gonna happen and I feel like I need to kind of admit to some things that I have lied about. I, this is really hard. I'm not a liar. I was protecting my feelings as much as I could. 
I know it's selfish of me to do. She says at some point that we were gonna take the cats to the vet and that we had taken Wasabi to the vet. We, I never took these cats to the vet. You can just get the deworming stuff at, um, you can go to a vet and buy it or you can get it from, uh, I think PetSmart might have some, I'm not sure. We're assuming he's about six weeks old. We're not sure. Uh, we called the vet, like literally as soon as Destiny's mom gave him to me. We took the cat to the vet and the boy, healthy, everything was perfect. So I'm super excited about that. Um, vaccinations, deworm, the whole nine yards, Hopton, Hopton, Hopton. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so we called the vet today and we can't get her fixed until she's four months old the whole time we were together we did not go to the vet <laughs> um amberlynn didn't want to get a real job she only wanted to do youtube <laughs> well it looks like nothing much has really changed we know that amber really doesn't want a real job and just wants to be a youtuber forever Given her latest vlogs, I'm not sure how sustainable that thought is. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, click like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Rio wants to see you in the Discord, so grab a membership. Until we meet again, please don't forget, be kind and hasta luego.